All right, it's been a long time since I've uh, posted a video. I know it's been like six or eight months or something like that. Anyways, can I tell you? Stuff happens. Uh, let's get back on the open sense uh, train because uh, since I posted that video a long time ago, um, a couple of videos on open sense, my I was testing it at home a lot of the times, and I was just you know tracking its performance, seeing how I like it, seeing how the features and Open VPN was working out, and traffic logging, and everything was sort of uh, getting on. And I ran it at home for about two to three months. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to throw one of these into production at one of my clients. So I threw the first one in. Uh, I think at that point it was, yeah, it was uh, past 19.1. So it was like 19.1 something. And it sat there for a little while. This was a very <clears throat> small customer that they don't have a lot going on. But, you know, let's, 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 let's try it that way first. And, uh, yeah, you know, everything seemed to be fine. And I said, okay, well, let's see uh, if I can throw it into another client site. So I threw another small one into another smaller client site and ran some updates, things like that. <clears throat> and everything seemed to be going well. So right now we're, we're uh, I think I have eight of them deployed now from everywhere from small to larger environments uh, in multi multi-site environments, which I have open VPN now running site to site, which I am also collecting logs and stashing them over a tunnel to gray log for threat detection, intrusion detection, or uh, just uh, monitoring of critical servers, stuff like that. Basically like a SIM. Uh, <clears throat> I do run a SIM for some of my clients that, that do need it. Anyways, so now let's get back on. So now we're at OpenSense version uh, 19.7.5 underscore 5. And this is the, the one at my house here. I don't know if you see my IP address. This is why I don't do a lot of YouTube videos. Like, you know, uh, just I don't have the time to block out information and stuff. If it's quick and easy, sure, I'll do it. I'll block out some IP info and stuff like that. But for the most part, I just don't have a lot of time. Uh, but maybe, who knows, maybe I'll do some more uh, videos. And if I get into a routine, I can catch up. So anyways, very much the same here from OpenSense. Uh, just... All the packages have been updated. So uh, OpenVPN has been updated. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, basically, the Python it went from Python 2 to, I believe, Python 3 and 17 and 19.7, 19 I think. can't remember when that actually happened. But all these packages have been updated here to basically the latest ones. In terms of feature sets... Um, I mean, the main, the, all the main features are still there. Uh, one thing that did change that you guys might want to take note of before you make any changes, if you have any of the, uh, these boxes in production, OpenSense boxes, is a logging changed uh, quite a bit. They went from just standard syslog uh, output uh, to using syslog ng. And <clears throat> um, that kind of broke all my logging uh, to my... Uh, gray log server up in uh, up in the cloud so that went from basically right from here it would remote syslog uh, remote syslog contents this would be selected and i'd have my remote syslog servers here um that's actually i don't know why that's there that's just wrong so basically what they did was they switched to using syslog ng and now you can see that this is my uh my tunnel network so all the logs get spit out uh over udp through the tunnel network and now they have this different uh, interface here on exporting logs. Now, when I first migrated to 19.7, I believe it was 19.7.1 or something, there were some issues. I did notice uh, some things were uh, buggy. Uh, first of all, I noticed right away when I first did the upgrade, I had a huge, huge spike in um, CPU with Python, I think it was Python, it's Python 7.3 or 7.2 or sorry, 3.2 or 3.7. I can't remember the exact versions of everything. But in Python 3, I noticed that process was taking up a lot of uh, CPU utilization. And I was like, uh oh, what's going on here? And I'd leave it and I 10 minutes later would still be peaking at 80 to 80%, 80%. 80%. Um, shortly after that, um, I went into the logging and I said, oh, what the hell is going on here with logging? I looked it up. I read some of the uh, the articles on that. And I said, okay, so I'll do this. So UDP, I'm going to do some Suricata uh, logging. 
with these levels and I'm gonna do like all system logging and this is my host name, this is my port. I shipped over all my logs <clears throat> over the tunnel to the gray log server and I just noticed that it was, uh, I don't exactly know what happened because I upgraded to the next update shortly after, but I could tell you that logging right away on 7, 19.7 was not working 100%. I don't even think it would allow me to put an IP address here. I was putting in an IP, saving it, and it's like, oh, no, that's not, a, that's not a recognized IP or that's not a recognized host name. And I said, wait, wait, I need a host name? So then I, I, I was like, what, what the zuck is happening here? Um... So then I tried to register the host name for my gray logs and it was, it was kind of a mess. And I said, oh shit, this is, you know, a nightmare. I don't know if I want to upgrade all my clients to 19.7 uh, right now. Anyways, slowly, shortly after that, I think there was 19.1 and 19.4. And then uh, I think at 19.4, everything started to sort of uh, work as normal again for me. And then uh, in 19.5 and 19, uh, 19.7.5.5, everything seems to be running uh, really good. So that to me was a major update, um, especially if you're doing anything with logging. Um, I hope you are, you should be anyways. Um, I'm not doing uh, DNS logging or anything, but uh, that's just, I probably, I might do that in the future. It just, that's a lot of logs. That's a lot of stuff to go through, filter through. And if I'm doing, uh, if I have a SIM out at a client, uh, I start doing DNS logging, I have to pay a lot more attention. Uh, rather than what I have going on now. Other than that, uh, let me just go through this. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, everything's pretty good. Uh, and top's working. All the major stuff's working. So I would highly recommend um, the upgrade if you're on 19.1. Go to 19.7. Uh, it's going to jump you all the way to the latest, hopefully. And you're not going to have any more issues with that. Now, this is a quick general, hey, I'm kind of back video. In the next video, I'm going to tackle uh, a little bit more of the services here in uh, in <clears throat> in OpenSense and just go through that. Like even I, I totally forgot I even uh, installed net data because I just wanted to see you know how that worked and that works okay. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, guys.